Hi guys, so today I'm going to be filming a holiday makeup tutorial. You don't have to do this exact makeup obviously, but I just think it's the perfect combination of glitter and um, not glitter, if that makes any sense, because I know a lot of people are afraid to use glitter and glitter can be very messy and in this video I'll be using a liquid glitter, but you can use any type of glitter. And I only used glitter on my lower lash line to kind of make it easier. And the rest of it is kind of like a light goldish cranberry look. And I did a red lip and I also show a nude lip, which is most likely what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take this all off probably and do a nude lip because, I don't know, I feel like wearing red lipstick is like pretty difficult for me. But yeah, if you guys want to see how I did this makeup look, then keep on watching. And I want to wish all of you guys a happy new year. And I'll see you guys next year. So I've uh, already primed my eyes. And first I'm going to apply my Buxom Mutt, which is a base, like an eyeshadow base. And it looks like this. It's kind of like a coppery color with like gold flecks of shimmer. But I'll be using it as a base. And I'm just going to apply it with my finger because I find that it's the best that way. And be careful if you're using a shimmery base. You don't want to um, apply it all over your eye because it is shimmery and it could get messy. So try to focus it kind of like on the lid and not above the crease. Now I'm going to go in with Half Baked from the Naked Palette, which is a gold uh, shimmery color. And I'm going to be applying it with my Urban Decay flat shader brush, which came with the Naked palette, and we're just going to pack that color on. Now we're going to apply Buck, and Buck is like maybe two, three shades darker than my skin tone. A lot of this, and we're just going to put this in the crease. I love the way this brush feels when you use it. It's not harsh. It doesn't have that feeling of like bristles like poking onto your skin. I don't know if I'm like the only one who experiences stuff like that, but this brush is really nice. We're going to use my 88 color palette by BH Cosmetics. And we're going to take a more defined brush. So something like this one would work. This one's by Sonia Kashuk and it's like a little more defined. And we're gonna take a cranberry shade and I'm gonna be using this one right here. And we're just gonna put a little bit on our brush and put that in our crease. Tap off any excess, looks something like that. It looks like a lot, but it's not. And we're just gonna put that in our crease. And you don't want to press too hard because um, you want the look to be very blended. You don't want it to be like super like cranberry colored in one area of your eye and then just like very gold on the other part of your eye. Now we're going to blend away using that same Sephora brush. So now you have like a cranberry looking eye. A even more defined brush, this one's by e.l.f. And it's more pointy as you can see. And we're gonna go in with kind of cranberry looking color. So this one right here. This brownish cranberry shade. And it has shimmer in it, so perfect for the holidays. And we're just gonna really define that crease now and put that kind of like into the deepest part of our crease. So now you can see that it's way more defined than my other eye. Crazy. All right, we're gonna blend now, again, because blending is a very important. I'm gonna take this green right here. It's like the most perfect green shade ever. It's shimmery and it just reminds me of a forest. And 
this is from the Sephora palette and we're just gonna apply that under on our lower lash line I do not see what I'm doing so let's highlight our brow bone now and I will be using this Sigma brush E70 medium angled shading brush and I love using this for concealer after I do my eyebrows to like make that very sharp line but I'm just going to use it for highlight at the moment and to highlight I'm going to use Heaven from this Too Faced palette I Love palette so it's this one right here it's a cream color a matte cream color and we're just going to put that right here and I feel like it just makes the look so much better. As you guys can see, I have fallout all over the place. We're gonna wipe that away in a minute. But yeah, now I'm just gonna apply liner, lashes. I don't think I'm gonna use false eyelashes right now. And I'm gonna tight line my eye using this green by Stila, the convertible eye color. So I'm gonna use that. So I'll be right back and I'll show you what I do on my face. Okay guys, I'm back. So um, I just did my foundation and concealer and brows. I believe that's all I did. Um, I realized that I didn't highlight my inner corner and I'm gonna take this shade right here. It's like a white shimmery shade by Dior and the collection palette is called Canage Color Collection Eye Palette. So I'm just gonna take that same brush that we used for my brow bone and I'm going to take a tiny bit of this because it's very shimmery. And I'm just going to come in here and highlight it a little bit. Oh, there's something in my eye. Okay, so now we're done with that. Um, I'm going to show you what blush I'm going to be using. And I also figured that if you guys want, you can use a little glitter under your eyes. Which I think I'm going to do that because I do want it to be a little more festive and I think that would be the perfect touch. So for blush, I'm gonna use my e.l.f. blush in Candid Coral. So it looks like this. It's really similar to the NARS Orgasm blush and I've said that literally in every video. So yeah, I like it a lot and I'm just gonna use a blush brush and we're gonna smile and apply it um, on your cheekbones. And it's really pretty, it's perfect for the holidays because it has like gold shimmer in it. So if you don't like shimmer, then don't use this blush, but I think it just looks really pretty, adds a really nice touch to your cheeks. For contour, I will be using my NARS Laguna. Now, I don't like a strong contour ever, so I'm kind of just bronzing, not really contouring. So now I'm going to show you guys the glitter I'm going to be using. Um, okay, so I have this one, and I think I'm going to be using this one. I also have loose glitter, but this one I feel like looks a lot better. And this is the Lorac 3D Liquid Luster Drops, and this is amazing. This stuff is, like, really cool, and it's basically like a liquid, and it comes with, like, a pipette type of thing, and you kind of just, like, pipette it onto your hand. And it's literally like liquid gold on your hand. So I'm going to take some of that old pencil brush. And this stuff dries really fast, so you have to work with it really quickly. So I'm just going to take it, put it on my hand, and then off of the back of my hand, I'm going to put some on. So do you guys see how that gives like a very gold finish? Now I'm just going to put some lipstick on. I have two different options for you guys. You can either do a nude lip because a nude lip looks great with anything. And I will be using Ferris Nude by L'Oreal. And I'm just going to put that all over. Yucky. I'm going to use my uh, MAC Dazzle Glass Cream in Demur, Demur, I don't know. It's from a holiday collection, so I don't know if this is available. If this is limited edition, I don't know. But I'm gonna use some of that. It's 
So here's the first option. Um, I think it looks really good. But I'm going to also give you the option of doing a red lip, which is very uh, bold. And not everyone likes that, but I'm just going to show you guys anyway. NYX Lipstick in Chaos. So I actually men mentioned this recently in a favorites video. So uh, I'm going to apply that. So this is what the red lipstick looks like. It's very bold. Um, I don't know how comfortable I would feel going out like this. People would go out like this in public and that's great. You guys are really brave. I just, I don't know. Red lips to me is just really difficult to wear because you just have to reapply it all the time and I hate it. But for the holidays, I think it's a perfect excuse to wear it. And this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, then please don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!